is all. Despite the rumors of my demise, I'm very much alive and was just taking a long break from stupidity. I spent much of that time going to Galactic Confederation Council meetings, building a death ray for the Empress, expanding my Martian coffee empire, and making sure the crew was well stocked with space rum. Now I'm back, and I figured I'd tackle a subject near and dear to my heart. Aliens and UFOs. So with every Starlink launch, there ends up being a ton of UFO reports. This is also paired with UFOs and alien videos on YouTube and other social media. Now, one would think that with dozens of low-altitude satellites being launched, that would be a clue, wouldn't you think? Plus, the first thing folks would find if, if they bothered to do any research would be a satellite launch happening hours or days before they saw those UFOs. A launch that results in a long chain of bright lights traveling across the sky. But that's not why I'm here. In digging into videos on one of the many YouTube channels that covers UFOs, I came across this vid. This video shows a UFO UAP report video that is actually found on the MUFON site itself. So I downloaded the video directly from the MUFON report files so that we could take a look at it. Now remember, this is an actual UFO UAP sighting report on the MUFON site. So let's see what a couple minutes of research does. On the left, we have the original video with proper orientation. On the right, we have Stellarium set to same date and general location that he states in the video. Now, I'm using the latest telemetry data in Stellarium, as I do not have archived telemetry for the date in question. Now, let me be clear, I'm only tracking 13,000 to 17,000 objects. That sounds like a lot, but that's actually less than 1% of the number of tracked objects in orbit. However, this should be more than enough to establish that these are obviously satellites. So let's watch the video while Stellarium shows just a tiny portion of the known objects in the sky at the time. With my telescope, a 14 inch Schmidt Cassegrain on 11 14 21. And this is what I saw. I was looking at the Orion Nebula and NGC 1977, the Running Man Nebula on the left. Watch what I see. Okay, see this object come in? It was across Orion. From the paths, I'd say uh, his, ac his actual location was probably south of downtown location yeah, based off the, the parallax. Did a bright light and it also looks like the dimmest detectable star is also around a magnitude 16 or dimmer, which is far dimmer than satellites being tracked in Stellarium. I've never seen this many objects. So, I mean, just a few seconds later, here comes four more. They're coming down. Now, that's an awful lot of satellites. It's fairly safe to say that none of those are UFOs or even UF UAPs. All it took was a few minutes of work using free software and publicly available telemetry data. No alien Area 51 super secret files dug out of a vault. No hacking the CIA or DOD. Just cognitive skills, free software, and a Google search. So if you're lazy, lack cognitive skills, and suffer from severe confirmation bias, congratulations! Everything is a UFO. I wonder if I should tell them that we're we are actually watching and laughing our asses off at how dumb these talking monkeys are. To be fair, it has gotten a bit crowded since the Europans uh, told the rest of the galaxy that the Three Stooges was actually anthropological footage documenting Earthling intelligence. Oh hell, is this Mike's-